yesterday we learned parts of speech that is beginning class what i got yesterday what is what i define parts of speech words according to their functions in a sentence are divided into different parts they are of eight they are called parts of speech what they are noun pronoun verb adjective adverb preposition conjunction interjection and later personally means particularly we discuss the verb we discuss the noun what i got yesterday noun is naming things means noun is a word which denotes name of a person place or thing or animal etc that is called noun i told you noun is of two types what they are concrete nouns and abstract nouns yesterday i explained this what is concrete i told you what is concrete which has the physical existence material existence which can be seen which can be touched is concrete what is abstract which cannot be seen and which cannot be touched is abstract abstract later we are going to learn the first yesterday i explained concrete is again divided into different how many four what are they proper noun common noun collective noun and material noun this is i explained proper noun common noun collective noun material noun okay you know all these what is proper what is common what is collective noun and what is material noun in yesterday class we have learned, we learned now particularly we are going to learn about common noun yesterday common noun def uh, definition i explained in examples i gave particularly we are going to learn common noun today what is common noun name of a class of persons place animal or thing common noun that is common noun is a name of a class of person place animal thing that is called common noun means that name should be used very common to them to indicate a particular class of person class of place animal thing this is called common now today common noun is divided into two types what are they common nouns can be divided into two that is countable nouns and another one is uncountable nouns this is yesterday class up to here we learn yesterday today we are learning particularly about common noun okay i explained yesterday proper noun proper noun means particular name of a person place or thing and a common noun yesterday we discussed it and today also we are discussing and collective noun means a name of a group of persons places animals things etc and material noun means name of the metals and materials and substances yesterday we completed this now particularly we are learning common noun common noun is again can be divided into two types countable nouns and countable nouns what is mean by countable nouns which can be counted can be counted which can be counted means it is possible to count uncountable noun means which cannot be counted see here uncountable countable countable means able to count uncountable means not able to count very simple countable noun has means every countable noun has singular 
and plural numbers. Not uncountable verb. Only countable nouns have singular numbers as well as plural numbers. Means who have singular and plural forms means you have to say only countable nouns have singular forms and as well as plural. For example, girl, girls. This is singular, this is plural. Pen, pens, bag, bags. Okay, means this is called a plural. What is mean by singular? Singular means only one. What is mean by plural? More than one. More than one. Now you come to understand what is singular, what is plural. Plural means more than one. Singular means only one. Means these forms only have, who have? Countable nouns have singular and plural forms. But not uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns doesn't have any singular and plural forms. They have only the form of singular but not plural. It is not possible to write by adding a form to it. Uh, means they are uncountable. What is uncountable? Which cannot be counted. You know, pen, one. Pens, more than one. It is possible one, two, three. Means it is possible to count. They are countable. For example, uncountable, rice. Is it possible to count? No. Rice, no rices. Milk. It is not possible to count mix. Don't add any S form to it. Why? Because it is uncountable. Uncountable nouns have no any singular and plural form. They have only one form. No other plural forms. Okay? Rice, milk, sand, okay, sugar. That's all. Okay? They don't have any plural form. Now, common noun is divided into two countable nouns. And countable nouns, countable means which can be counted, means they have the two forms, singular and plural forms, and uncountable means not, a, not able to count, means which cannot be counted, they don't have plural forms, they have only the one form, like what the, what the example, rice, sand, milk, sugar, as well as every common noun has, common noun has, Genders. Common noun. Gender. Every common noun has different genders. How many? These are the genders. Masculine gender. Feminine gender. Common gender. And the one is, and final one is, neuter gender. See here, common noun can be divided into two countable and countable. Countable means able to count, means they have the singular and plural forms. What is uncountable, not able to count, means they are not possible to change into plural forms. And now, every common noun, means all these common noun have four genders. What they are? Masculine gender. Masculine gender. This denotes male. Give an example. Male means boy. Cock. Okay. Next one. Dog. Tiger. Ox. These are all male. Boy is a man. Cock is a man. Dog is a man. Tiger is a male, ox is a man. As well as now, these are all should be considered into the account of masculine gender. Masculine gender means male, they do not male. Now, feminine gender. In this word, feminine, feminine means female. Feminine gender means denotes female. The above one is male, this is female. Means, example you. Boy for fem, female is girl, coca female is hen, and dog for female is what is it? Bitch. 
and the one tiger, tigress, and the ox one, what? Cow. Now, this is called feminine gender. Means common gender. Every common gender have four genders. They are masculine gender, feminine gender, common gender, neuter gender. What is masculine gender? Male. What is feminine gender? Female. What is common gender? Means denotes male and female. Both male, female. How so? Yes. A noun should be used to indicate both, whether it is male or female. Example, teacher. Male is also called as teacher. Female is also called as teacher. Doctor. It can be used for both, whether it is male or female. Female is also called as a doctor. Male is also called as a doctor. Liar. He is also same. Lady. Means female is also called as liar. And male is also called as liar. Means this noun should be or we are using very common for both the male and female. We are using this noun very common to indicate both the, what they are male and female. That's why it is called a common gender. You know, student, whether girl student or boy student, we call them as just a student, whether girl or boy. The next one is neuter gender. Means here see. Masculine means male, feminine means female, common means should be used for both. What about neuter? Neuter, it's not related to male, female, common. Means it indicates or denotes lifeless objects. It denotes lifeless. For example, book. For example, pen. For example, bench means they have no genders. It no, it does not it doesn't represents male, female, or common or anyone. That's why the remaining one is neuter. Neither male nor female. That should be means they don't have any life. They are lifeless objects. So that's why book. It's not related to male or female. That's why it is called a neuter gender. Pen is also neuter as well as. Bench is also neuter. Now, with this noun is completed. 